Six. What radio station will we interview yeah. tomorrow night, Jeff? Yeah, we practicing? Head? No. But you I need your fucking text, man. <laughs> I read the first 35. <laughs> yeah. I probably have to go to the bathroom. Don't look into it's the a white. Question. Don't <laughs> sweat. Five. <laughs> Five. Um, Jeff Royds, lead vocals. George Mumjin, drums. I'm Darren, guitar. Rob Tuleri, guitar. Glenn Sumner, no idea what I do. <laughs> we don't either. Triangle. <laughs> January 2016 this year, we decided to, um, to get back together and give it one more go. The plan was to just record another album, do another year, and just uh, kind of finish up some loose ends and it looks like it's gonna go a lot longer than just a year. How but in a good way, in a good way. Right, right. <laughs> for good reason. It's kind of when you stop trying for something, it is when it happens. So we're kind of lucky that we, we, we weren't taking it seriously this year. We just wanted to go and have fun and play out and it's, uh, it's worked out to be probably our best year yet. So hopefully there's more to come. We were three people originally, uh, it was me, my girlfriend Kim on bass, which is kind of like having Glenn still, and <laughs> breasts. we spooned too, so it works. And uh, in ex my girlfriend. ex girlfriend, sorry, um, it hasn't really changed. Really, besides the look of it, it's changed, but the feel in the music has always been is always still there. I think we've evolved musically, but music playing is better on stage our performance is a hell of a lot better because if you watch old videos of us when we first started and even george could tell you because he was there that first night we were there we were like wallpaper i was nervous as hell we didn't move we didn't do anything where now if you come to a bullethead show it's we're all over the stage i saw that band. we're playing we're having a you great saw time that band? <laughs> that's right you did see that band. you did see that band. a couple times oh yeah glenn saw a lot more than that too <laughs> That's a whole other story. <laughs> we won't talk about that. Uh, so it's def it's evolved musically and it's evolved theatrically. When you go see a band on stage, I always look at it as if I want to see a band on stage. If they're just standing there playing the music, that's great. But I can sit at home and listen to your record and look at your album cover if that's what it's going to look like when you're on stage. If you're going to go see a live show, you want to see a live show. You want to see the band members interacting. You want to see movement. You want to see you know, like Cirque du Soleil type of shit. You know, you want to see pyrotechnics or, or lighting or, or anything. You want it to be a show. You want to go see a band play live and you want, to, you want to be entertained. You don't want to sit there and look at five guys just standing in place playing music and singing. That's boring. You know, you can sit in the back of a room and listen to them and nobody has to pay attention to what you're doing on stage. We want to, we, I think we're at the point now where we not demand you to pay attention to us, but our presence on stage kind of captures that where people want to watch us because we're entertaining on stage to watch, not just listen to. We are currently working on our new album, which will, I don't know if you want to technically call it our fourth album, but our first full length album. Uh, studio album that we're going to be doing and that should be done by January 17th. We have a deadline for our record label to do that. And we have got a couple of shows coming up, opening up for Road Dog um, in various clubs throughout uh, the New England area. You can find all information on our website, bulletheadboston.com and just get stuff ready for 2017 because it is, I've been told that it's going to be a, uh, a crazy year to, uh, for us. To get, yeah. to get ready. <laughs> so that's pretty much what the rest of 2016 has in order for us. Um, I like the idea of uh, having um, other people besides us believe in our music. I think it's a great uh, thing and I feel that 2017 is going to open not only doors for us but 
the people that we're working with are also going to be psyched because they got Bullethead on their side now. So I'm very happy about that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good night. I'm George Mergen and I approve this message. I do approve this message, <laughs> just so you know. Um, I think my favorite part about Laconia Fest was I got to meet hundreds of people and um, I had friends come up from home and Thursday night was probably the best night when uh, we all got to hang out with the Brett Michaels band and backstage and just party with them. Cool, cool bunch of people and um, I think that was probably the best night for uh, myself. Not only the fact that we did get to open up for Ted Nugent, but it just all came together on that Thursday night. Nobody backstage but Brett Michaels or Bullethead. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> who, who was responsible for that? The best part for, for Laconia Fest was that we got to meet a lot of people. We got to network. We got to hang out with, you know, the guys from LA Guns and, uh, you know, the bass player, old bass player for Cinderella, who's now playing with Brett Michaels. Like, we always kind of hung backstage with them and partied and had a good time. But the networking that we got to do and the people we got to meet and everything that, that, that we had a chance to, to be a part of. And it got, it gave us a chance to show people that, you know, we're really down to earth guys. We forfeited our slot on Thursday because of everything that happened with the, the whole freaking everything almost not happening so other bands could play as long as we were guaranteed to play on Friday, which was our actual guaranteed spot uh, anyway. So it was just, it was a lot of fun. In, I felt bad for George because he was up there the whole week and he, he sent me text messages. I'm like, how's it going? He's like, yeah, it's not going too good. It's kind of, they open up the gates for free because nobody's coming in. <laughs> so when we got there Thursday, we were all pumped and ready to go. And they're like, you guys bullethead? We're like, yeah. They're like, just hang out for a little bit. We're not sure if you're playing yet or not. <laughs> and as we're watching it, like the stage we were supposed to be playing on, they were taking down. And we're like, uh, we're playing in like 15 minutes. And they're taking all that shit away. What is going on? So I was up there cool. raising yeah. money for the Humane Society doing a drum set raffle. And, uh, you know, I met hundreds of people. I had them all come in and play my drums. All the other bands I got to meet, which was awesome. Uh, but again, it was just, it was a long week. And when these guys showed up, I was relieved. It was like, finally, friends, people I know. I could take a break for tough. five minutes. It was <laughs> tough, but it was a great experience. Guys, what do you think about um, the old Laconia Fest? It was Did kind of the opposite it? of build it and they will come. They built it and no one came. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Built it and you I will like come. it. Until, until they said $5. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. Once they dropped the ticket price. But, but getting to play on the main stage was incredible. That was pretty badass. Yeah, you yeah. got great photos out of it and everything. So yeah. it was, And you look yeah. good up there, Rob. Hey, yeah. yeah, As usual. Damn right. So you kept up to that name of that sexy bastard Rob Tillery up there. No doubt about it. Well, I think the most rewarding thing is being in a band where there's just all cool guys and we get along, we hang out, we have fun, we enjoy being around each other. There's not a bad apple in the band. What band are you in? <laughs> no, I've been in a few bands and there's, you know, this is a rare thing. There's always a bad apple or someone complaining about this or that or whatever and I haven't come across that yet with these clowns <laughs> so far so good yeah. most exciting thing boob fest boob fest, boob fest. just to play a venue <laughs> an event called boob fest was, was pretty friggin awesome we got to help raise money for breast cancer which uh, you know you, you use the name boob fest and everybody's like oh it's boobs that's that's vulgar it's like it's, it's, a, it's a clever play on on words to get people into the door but we help raise money for a horrible, horrible disease. disease yeah. You know, something that just, it, it kills people. It kills women and it's, it's, it's tragic, it's very bad. It's, it's bad obviously, because it kills people, but um, we got to help raise over $20,000 for breast cancer this year. And it, yeah. was, uh, it was really good to be a part of that and to say that we were a part of that. And we got our name on a t-shirt that says boobs on the front and bullet heads on the back. So it's it pretty <laughs> cool, but it was just, it was a, it was a great day to be a part of and um, it was awesome. How much time do we have? <laughs> we gotta finish the album. We need to get f uh, professional photographs done, I'm told, because the ones we have are good but they're not professionally done. Not quite sure what professionally done means, probably lighting in a rec room. Professionally done means 
couple done thousand by, dollars done by a professional right I can do we'll it. get it done. You can do it on your iPhone. Come on. Uh, yeah, we're going to do that. we got to get with our touring manager and just, you know, get stuff ready for 2017 to go out on the road and, you know, use our vacation time and sick time and make sure all our, our ducks are in a row. But first is, is recording. First is finishing the album. So once we get the album finished, everything else will just, you know, fall into play, hopefully. Uh, I think new new music, new recorded music. We're going to be working on our new album soon. So I think even with after the next album we record, after that, I think we have enough material to um, record. There are three albums worth. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, and we're looking forward to it too. Expect greatness. Yes. <laughs> Have your minds blown, your asses rocked, and just have a great time. And just expect that when you go out to a Bullethead show, you're going to get your money's worth no matter how much you pay for it, whether it's free or it's twenty dollars or whatever the amount is. We're gonna we're gonna put on a rock show for you, no matter what, and we're gonna give it to you as hard and, and as heavy as we can. And you're gonna leave wanting more. And videos. And videos. The election is awesome. It's You're going to see more great videos from us. We have a lot of great tunes that are going to you know, really make us shine. So I'm looking forward to doing the videos, and I love seeing that part of the band. There'll be videos of me and Glenn spooning in the hotel go. room on tour. It'll be fantastic. <laughs> and George with his shirt off. There you go. Damn right. <laughs> um, I think the one thing I don't want people to, to, that will tell me, no, you can't do, is that we can't play. We're not. I don't think. I don't think anybody's going to be able to tell us no. You can't go on that stage and you can't put on a great show, um, because we can. No matter what, no matter how much time we've had, if we got to play two songs or if we're going to play a whole night, we're going to rock your asses off, and nobody's going to tell us that we can't do that. I wouldn't want them to tell us how to rewrite our music or rearrange it, <clears throat> or come in some big time producer saying your drums are too busy I'm like fuck you they're not too busy they're my drums <laughs> you're not a fucking drummer you're a producer get off my ass I'll play the way I want to because this is the way I feel yeah that's the way I feel call me busy <laughs> you'll be happy in the end yeah along the same lines I don't you know I'd say no to anyone wanting to change our, our sound in general a sound or a style? Um, yeah, I think definitely uh, with the music, <clears throat> if they had some ideas on our music that we didn't agree with, uh, I don't think we could go with that. I'll do anything for money. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> anything. I'll shave my head, wax my chest, play anything, it doesn't matter. Would you spoon with Jeff? Spoon with Jeff. <laughs> do that for free, were you kidding me? <laughs> it's a freaking privilege. All right. Anything for money. I'm very people. soft. <laughs> I think it, I, we're not young guys anymore. We're not, you know, we're not 19 trying to make it in this business where it's like, you know, we, let's say we have our integrity. We do, yes. You know, we're not going to dress up in duck suits or anything like that. But I think we're at the point where we're a little more flexible. Can I return the duck suits? But then, <laughs> you're going to bring us back. In our musical career where it's like, you know, we've, we've been around the block. We've seen how the game is played, we see how it works. And it's not like, you know, you compromise a little bit, you know, okay, we, 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 can, we can let this slide, but, you know, we're, we're not gonna slide on this. We're a little more leeway. It's, you know, before, if you asked me, you know, if I was 22, I'd be like, I'm not changing anything. This is how I'm gonna do it, and this is gonna be awesome, and blah, blah, blah. It's, you know, the world doesn't work like that anymore, so, but definitely not changed. The music. I had a um, I had a freaking hissy fit when the label wanted to take out the uh, the ISIS footage on the video, and then uh, I hung up the phone. I'm like, oh shit! I kind of just fucking probably just blew everything. But uh, then I realized that you know we, we kind of live in a world where it, it may offend some people, it may be pissed off with some people, but that's what rock and roll is all about. Rock and roll is always rebellious and about you know pissing people off and things like that. And I don't mind pissing somebody off or making somebody think or offending somebody with our music, but I don't want to incite, you know, a riot or anything like that where, you know, a cartoon or something, people are getting their heads chopped off. I'd, I'd hate to be responsible for that. Come see us live. Hearing us recorded is good. 
but seeing us live is so much better. We're definitely a live band. It's um, a show. Yeah, it's that's that's how we've we've evolved. We're more of a live band now than a recorded band. So it, we're worth the price of admission to come see. So come see us live when we come to a town near you. You're mm -hmm. gonna you're gonna be happy you did. It'll be fun. You're gonna be thankful. You may interact with some people. You may meet somebody. You never know. Once you and I starts playing, you could catch the eye of that person across the, the room or something like that. You could go home and get naked. It's it's happened. It's happened sometimes. Bullethead, yeah. Bullethead has been known to make clothes fall off at the end of the night. It's like the couple skate. There's a whole slew of Bullethead babies. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of Bullethead babies. After a show, like nine months later, we'll get a birth announcement. We'll be like, I remember that dude and yeah. that chick. She was with that other dude, and he was with that other chick, and they left together. That's yeah. what. And made up. That's what people should happen. Make babies. Yes. <laughs> Get your pets spayed or neutered, like Bob Barker always said. I just, I want to say thank you to everybody who's followed this band over the years that come to our shows that will drive up, been sit in traffic four hours to go up to Laconia to see us play for twenty minutes. And uh, you know that have that have driven up to Salisbury and all over the, the different parts of the state or New England that we've played at, and they're not these people that are oh you're not playing ten minutes down the street from my house at a bar that doesn't have live music I can't come see you you know they'll come out and see us they'll travel for us and we're a band worth traveling for so thank you to everybody uh, who's bought our music who supported us and there's just going to be there's more to come this is just the beginning you know this is the this is the rebirth of Bullethead right here, and what you're seeing is is uh, is the beginning, and it's only just going to get so much better from here with, with new music that just kicks ass that we can't wait for you guys to hear, to live shows that are just going to be so much better because we're going to have more money invested in it and more attention and more time and more expectations. It's just, it's going to be fantastic, and you're going to have your minds blown, and you're going to be thankful that you came out to a Bullethead show. And you didn't stay home and watch Netflix. Are we sponsored by Netflix? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. Soon Damn to be. Bullethead reality TV show coming soon with Netflix. <laughs> I've I, I'd lot. like to tell um, our fans that we love you. And we love you too. The pressure is on. I'm at a loss for words. Come out and see the show. Darren doesn't love our fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely come see us. We'll be out playing many places. <laughs> when, where, we have no idea. But we yeah. will be. <laughs> uh, 2017, year of the head. Year of the head. Damn right. Get your head on. <laughs>